Okay. I'm uh, Christian Colecci and I'm uh, um, working on uh, up the application of uh, low density paracheck codes for uh, post quantum uh, cryptography under the supervision of uh, Maurizio Martina and Guido Madera. Uh, the f mm, first thing we have to talk about uh, related to, since we are <laughs> talking about crypto cryptography, is uh, what is uh, cryptography and how can we define it? Well, uh, if, uh, if cryptography studies ways to uh, have a um, communication channel between two or more parties, which is secure, so that even if there are people listening to this channel, nobody can understand the meaning, the content of those informations. The, there are two main uh, distinctions to be done in uh, this field, which are uh, symmetric cryptography and asymmetric cryptography. Uh, symmetric cryptography uses just one key to establish uh, this communication, so it and it has a it is for sure faster than the second one. But we have to exchange uh, this key before starting a communication. For this reason, it's necessary uh, asymmetric cryptography, which uh, we uh, have to which mm, we have two keys, one secret and a public key, uh, both uh, owned by one person, Alice, in this case, and uh, uh, the secret key is the one that has to be mm, not shown to anybody, and the public key can be provided to everybody who wants to send a message with Alice. This is uh, not used as uh, symmetric widely used as sim symmetric cryptography because it for it is for sure slower, but it it is important when we have to exchange uh, the key. In particular, asymmetric cryptography uh, requires Bob, the, the sender of the message to Alice, to pick the key from Alice, encrypt the message, send it over a channel, and then uh, Alice is able to understand its meaning. Uh, uh, and uh, decrypting the message with its pr uh, secret key. Uh, the security of uh, this system is based uh, on the fact that the function to derive the public key from the secret key is quite simple, it doesn't require much time, but it's very difficult to invert. Most of the algorithms used now uh, are requiring exponential time to retrieve the uh, secret key from the public key. But this security can be broken by quantum computers because they are, mm, they are, mm, these are, they are supposed to be so powerful uh, and uh, mm, there are some algorithms that can run only on those computers who can uh, retrieve the two keys of some systems adopted now and uh, uh, pose a serious risk for our information. Uh, the systems uh, uh, that are in danger are the well-known RSA, which is based on the hardness of factorizing uh, uh, the product of two large prime numbers. And uh, this is the one that can be Bro the, the security of this system can be broken by an algorithm called the Shor algorithm, and uh, but who knows in the future uh, uh, when will uh, be required. Uh, the substitutes for uh, the asymmetric uh, algorithms used now are uh, error correcting codes, lattices, and isogenies. Error correcting codes are uh, derived from, are taken from the telecommunication field because they are widely used uh, to, in order to uh, correct uh, erroneous uh, messages coming from a sender. While uh, lattices and isogenies are uh, uh, two new proposes and uh, not well mm, deeply, and their security is not so deeply understood. Uh, on the other side, the, uh, error the system based on error correcting code called the McKinley's crypto system has uh, uh, at least uh, 30 years of researchers working on it, so it's supposed to be more secure than the other two proposals, which are based uh, lattices on the hardness of uh, mm, finding uh, the shortest vector in a lattice, which has a a uh, huge number of dimensions, while isogenies are based on maps be between um, 
uh, between uh, uh, some cores with particular um, uh, properties, uh, and they are cores match their maps, and uh, so we have some cores um, connected to the other, and if one is given, it is difficult to retrieve the other one unless it has uh, already been uh, given to the other party. But uh, our study was uh, concerned mainly the error correcting codes and in particular the Mechelin's crypto system, which worked in this way. A message uh, is uh, encrypted, adding to it a redundancy and then uh, a certain number of error. The ma matrix that adds uh, this redundancy is the public key of the code, while uh, the decryption is done taking the message with error and decoding it with another key related to the public key, which is the matrix H. And then we are able to retrieve the message if the decoder and the code was sized correctly. Uh, the in particular, uh, adding this redundancy means that we start from a message and uh, with a code. The code has uh, a set of parity equations that the redundancy, and the redundancy add a number of bits bits to the message that are able to satisfy these parity equations. The following step is to add an error, but this can be for sure a bounded error because otherwise we are outside the decoding radius of the decoder. So we are not able to retrieve anymore the original message. And this is pretty important <laughs> when you are doing a crypto system because if we are not able to decode the word, it means that we have a failure. And a failure in a, in a decoder and, uh, or a failure in every type of crypto system can be retrieved by someone who wants, wants to discover the properties of your system. Uh, f concerning the code, codes uh, employed, the original, mm, the original uh, crypt mechanics crypto system, there were used GOPA codes, which uh, lead to dense matrices. And since we are dealing with uh, large matrices, we need to uh, exp we want to explore different uh, application of the this crypto system, maybe uh, using uh, codes with uh, a lo lower density. Uh, re re recent recently, uh, low density parity check codes, LDPC codes were proposed. They have the um, uh, number of ones in the matrix, which are, are much smaller than the total number of elements. And uh, uh, mm, uh, another um, version, more compact of those codes, are the quasi cyclic LDPC codes, in which uh, we need the uh, to describe the matrix just one row and can be compressed a lot. Obviously, the security of uh, this last uh, option has to be studied, but a lot of work uh, has been done is this, is in this sense in order, in order to be able to overcome the security issues posed by this use, mainly um, regarding the uh, dimension of the code, because if you, you if you use a mm, code with large dimensions, it will be obviously more secure. Uh, regarding the hardness of the <laughs> this system, uh, it is easy if we go from the message to the uh, ciphertext C, because we just need to have a matrix by vector multiplication and then the addition of some errors. But it's very hard to go back. Because we don't, if we don't have any information on the code, we don't know how to uh, know if a possible word we have found is correct. Moreover, the derivation of the uh, public key from the secret key is mm, quite easy because we have just uh, the hardest part is the evaluation of the inverse of a matrix. But if we go back, there is a point where we have to factorize a, uh, a matrix, which is pretty complex because there are methods, but who knows that our, um, the two matrices we have found are the correct one. So if we don't have any information more, uh, uh, it becomes very difficult and very time consuming. The only possibility is to already have the secret key. 
for what concerns the decoder of uh, an LDPC code, we have two options. One is a soft decoder, which um, receives mm, the, the information received from the outside world are the uh, statistic, uh, statistic of the error and uh, the, uh, obviously the information that it has inside, so the matrix age. While the hard decoder requires uh, just the, uh, mat the vector to be um, corrected and the matrix. The difference between the two is the fact that the soft decoder may uh, requires less, uh, op mm, less iterations of the algorithm and uh, it works for sure better. But uh, the, its complexity is huge compared to hard decoder, which uh, uh, requires less information and has simpler structures to evaluate the position of the, the errors. This is done just uh, considering uh, if uh, some value in a product are higher than a threshold, which is so easy. Uh, and uh, among the possibilities that were available, uh, we decided to use uh, in particular one, which seemed to be the most uh, promising, which is LedaCrypt, which works on uh, quasi-cyclic LDPC code, has uh, uh, two uh, secret keys, H and Q, and uh, uses for the decoding a uh, bit flipping algorithm. But it has a big pro a quite big problem uh, in the implementation because as you can see, the dimension of the code are huge. And uh, if we go to the decoding process of, the, um, of this, uh, of this uh, um, uh, algorithm, we have the we have the, to evaluate some parameters. The syndrome, which is the response to the parity equation evaluated before, while sigma and correlation allows to evaluate for each bit of the received message in how many wrong uh, uh, equation it is involved. Because if we have uh, that a single bit is involved in many uh, wrong uh, um, equation, it is more probable that it's incorrect. And from it, we evaluate the error and update the um, message obtained at the beginning. But uh, the um, main idea uh, behind the implementation of the, this uh, algorithm in uh, um, FPGA or ASIC version was to make uh, this structure as much scalable as it was possible. Because what uh, the um, uh, previous work present in literature uh, presented just a single version with pa one parallelism, then uh, we decided to work in this direction. For what concerns the error evaluation, the, the cipher test update, they're pretty simple because we just have to find um, uh, in a, t we just need to process more uh, values per time. But uh, when it comes to the evaluation of the syndrome and sigma the correlation, this becomes pretty complex because as you can see, we have some products. And we, if we remember the sizes of the um, matrices, they can require quite a, a long time. Then um, th thanks to the structure of these uh, matrices, a relation between the or e t vector and uh, the matrix and the result uh, was found. Uh, this is equal just to, if we multiply a vector by a matrix with a cyclic structure, we just need to produce the shifted version of the vector and exhort them. Uh, this is can have a huge advantage while uh, implementing the, um, uh, the algorithm because it allows to process more data per time and uh, without picking uh, the elements uh, from, the vec from the memory randomly. We just need to start uh, from a bit and take all the successive, uh, for example, eight ones, uh, 16 ones. And we, for this reason, the parallel we mm, can have uh, whatever parallelism we, we want. And uh, for the this was the mm, main uh, work done uh, in this uh, sense. And the 
uh, the, the main improvement. And uh, for what concerns the result, what we obtained was the, the, the number of cycles increasing the parallelism uh, halves every time we increase it. But uh, we had a problem, which was the area because it increases a lot to the, the employed processing unit. And uh, the future works uh, uh, involve the possibility to have even larger parallelism, but without uh, paying uh, this huge, huge loss in terms of area. Maybe using uh, other techniques or working on uh, both on software and hardware in order to modify the uh, the processing units and uh, reduce uh, the cost. So, thanks for your attention. <laughs>